My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Florida's natural ecosystem is more than just a swampy biome. It is also filled with miles and miles of sandy pine forests. Living out here during a drought can be tough, so the best solution is often to stay indoors. For the animals, that means remaining underground until things moisten up. So I headed down to the marshes. Little did I expect that I'd find one of my most favorite snakes to ever interact with. I am very excited to show you this. This is a corn snake. This is the first time I've actually ever seen one in the, in the wild. I have interacted with these snakes many times before, but only in captivity. These guys are also known as red rat snakes because they are super duper orangish, orangey red. Um, you can easily tell a corn snake from other rat snakes or pretty much other snakes in general just because they are so orange. And if you ever get to have a look at their belly, super, super beautiful black and white. And that is actually what gives them their name corn snake. Something about pioneers discovering the snake and thinking of corn kernels when they saw their belly is what gave this snake its name. I believe that's where it comes from. Another great way to recognize a corn snake from other rat snakes is the fact that they have these white lips with black stripes going down uh, each labial scale, which I think is really, really cool. Um, they get a lot prettier than this, and they also get a lot bigger than this. This one is definitely uh, a, a bit of a smaller adult. Most adults are seen between about two and four feet. However, they can actually grow up to maybe almost six feet. Obviously this is an adult. Though these guys are orange and red now, when these guys are small and young, they actually look really really similar to their close cousin the gray rat snake, which you can also find around here. But as they get older, they start gaining that kind of reddish orange color and then it just kind of gets even more prominent as they get older, which in my opinion is what makes this species of snake so 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 beautiful. These guys are a type of rat snake, so they do eat rodents, um, especially rats if they get big enough, but usually they just kind of go after mice. But if mice aren't around, they go after lots of other different things that they can fit in their mouths, such as lizards, and I think maybe even inver invertebrates when they're little. Now these guys are both diurnal and nocturnal, which means that they are found out during the day and at night. It kind of depends on the time of the year. Um, these guys are out seen crossing roads at night if it was a particularly hot day. They can also be found under pieces of boards and tin, and also can be found out during the day and sometimes climbing the bark off the sides of trees. Uh, as well. When these guys are little and they can fit in little crevices, you'll actually find them literally in between the tree and the bark of the tree itself. For those of you who are wondering, this is a completely non-venomous species. This is not a snake you have to worry about getting bit by, running into. These guys are completely harmless and if anything, I'd say is probably the most pleasant snake to get up close with down here in the southeastern United States. They're just known for their docile nature. They're not always this way, but uh, a lot of the time you find one and they're just chill like this. He's barely even moving and he is super duper comfortable with me. I think this is just an awesome snake to get up close with, seriously. I'm down here in Florida hoping I would find this snake. I feel like it was only a matter of time because they're so common here. Florida is by far probably the best state to find a corn snake in. Um, they're just super duper common here. However, I honestly did not think I would see one at this kind of habitat. This just goes to show these guys are found in so many different kinds of habitats. I don't think these snakes themselves are aquatic. However, they're pretty commonly seen in areas that uh, don't really have much of a ground they can burrow in. Mostly it's just like marshy areas. Does the corn snake make a good pet? I do this with pretty much every snake I catch. The answer is yes, like my answer is almost always no I'm sorry but uh, this actually makes a wonderful pet snake in fact it is potentially the best pet snake I can think of period because they are so docile they are really easy to feed and they are absolutely gorgeous and there's a few few different morphs out there and they're very readily available in captivity so finding a captive bred individual is very easy they get a really good size pretty much a perfect size so it's still a decent size snake especially when they get adults but not so big that you need a massive enclosure and need to feed it giant animals and these guys can be housed comfortably in a 40 gallon enclosure but i'd probably re uh, recommend once they get to adult size you keep it in a 70 gallon enclosure just so it has a little extra room highly recommended as a first pet snake um i've heard nothing but good things about these guys as pets i know a thing or two about keeping these in captivity because my sister actually kept one in the last years of its life because it was actually a 30 year old corn snake so i have something very similar to this as a pet i have a great plains rat snake which is a very close relative in fact they actually used to be considered 
considered a kind of corn snake. And it's a really cool snake to keep as a pet. If you have any questions about keeping them or you have any other questions about the corn snake in the wild, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the best pet snake I've found here in Florida. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. Despite being the perfect snake to keep as a pet, it simply wouldn't be smart to remove it from its natural habitat. If a snake was born in the wild, then that is where it belongs. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time with possibly even...